Bread maker dough for everything. This is the dough that me and Dominic cook with the most. It's what we use when we want to make a pizza, bread rolls, and even when we're making a calzone. It is a fantastic recipe that you can just throw the ingredients in the bread maker and get amazing results. My name is Samantha and along with my husband Dominic who is behind the camera we will be showing you today 12 different ways to incorporate the bread maker and the air fryer to make delicious uh, kitchen gadget recipes. We are big fans of the bread maker dough and what we like about the dough is how you can transform it for the air fryer recipes or just keep it as dough or just make it to use some bread. Today it's all about having some fun while the kids are at school and spending the day in the kitchen teaching you different ways to cook with these kitchen gadgets. And if you want to follow along with this series, simply head over to our YouTube channel and you can scroll through the different videos that we've done today. So let's talk ingredients required to make bread or make dough in your bread machine. I've got them all out in front of you so that you can get an idea of everything that we use and let me run through each item with you. First of all, we live in Portugal at present and we're big fans of sea salt. So we always have a container like this in our pantry uh, that's loaded with some good quality sea salt. And this can make quite a good difference in the taste of your bread. Next, we just have um, some cheap uh, sugar. Any sugar that you normally use for baking with is fine. And then let's talk flour, shall we? There's often a big debate of which flour you can use when making bread. This is a more expensive Portuguese baking flour, so it's not like your cheapest chips flour. And this is what we make, we use when we're making our bread. But we have gone cheaper when we fancied some bread and we haven't had any decent flour in. And, you know, if you were to describe this, it would be kind of a premium version of all-purpose plain flour. We have used self-raising from time to time when we've been out of plain flour and it puffs it up quite a bit and makes it quite heavy but it's better than nothing when you want some bread and you haven't got any of your other ingredients in. And also an important ingredient to make lovely bread is extra virgin olive oil. We're big fans of extra virgin olive oil and it's the only oil we use in cooking in the Milner house. When we're air frying our food and we're using a little bit of olive oil, it's always this one that we use. Though, of course, this is local to Portugal, so any extra virgin olive oil from wherever you live is fine. Next on the list, let's talk milk. We're just using um, some normal, regular milk. You can use milk powder if you prefer. And I'll tell you now that we did use milk powder because it was recommended for bread machines for about the first two years of using the bread maker. And we found that it was rather expensive um, for what it actually did. And we didn't notice any change from moving to normal, uh, normal milk. So just go with whatever milk you've got. And you know, we're not particularly fussy. Sometimes we'll have some semi-skimmed -skim, milk in, sometimes it'll be skimmed, sometimes it'll be full fat. Just whatever you've got in, you know, um, bread's about a cheap product that you can make yourself at home, so why spend a, a small fortune on a more expensive milk when you can just go cheap? And then, of course, there's the other debate in, in regards to making bread, and that is the yeast. I think a lot of people are confused of what yeast you can make, you can use when making bread. Well, this is the ones we use. They come in these cute little boxes and you get little sachets inside like this. And you know, you read 
the instructions on it and it's called Baker's Dry Yeast. You can get it anywhere and they come in 11 gram packages and normally with bread use about nine grams you know you can measure this out on a spoon or you can just use your scales to do so now here's something interesting when it comes to making bread some bread makers work differently to others and you'll find some bread makers will have an instruction where the yeast goes in first and you'll get others where the yeast goes in last. Our bread maker is one where it goes in last. So basically, all you're doing is measuring your ingredients in a bowl, loading them in the bread maker, and then just making sure that the last ingredient you add is the yeast. It's as simple as that. There's not, a, you know, probably sounds quite confusing when people say, at what point do you add your yeast in? Well, just make note of that it's the last ingredient or the first ingredient. Just check your bread machine manual to regards to whether you're the first or the last as far as that's concerned. And then the only other ingredient to add is 200 ml of water, um, which what I actually use is I use the rice cup that came with my instant pot because it's just the perfect size because it goes up to 200 ml. So as you can see, we've got it all measured out already, ready there. You know, so if you're on American measurements, note that 240 ml is a cup. So it's just a little bit short of a cup. But the full recipe, including metric and imperial, is on recipethis.com. If you search um, for any of our bread recipes on there, or just head over to our bread maker recipes category and you can find the recipe that we're doing today as well as our sliced bread, dinner rolls, etc. So this is how you make your dough in your bread machine. It's very simple, it's very straightforward and it's something that's fantastic for somebody that's just got a bread machine. I had a conversation recently um, with somebody that was a professional baker and even though she loves making it herself, she was actually quite shocked by how quick and simple making a bread maker dough actually is. I actually talked her through the recipe and now she's actually following this recipe. But for today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get Dominic to show you how to make it because he is a professional chef by trade has been making bread for us in the Milner house uh, for just over three years using a bread machine. And he's much better at it than I am. And I would much rather he showed you how to do it. So it's over to Dominic. Right, hello. We will start with the 200 mils of water into the bread machine. Then, we will use 50 ml of olive oil and 50 ml of milk. And the mixture will look something like that. I always mix them together because I just think you get the best results when they're mixed together first. So you add that to your water, usually mix out the tub and we're done. So now onto the flour. Turn on your scales and measure out 500 grams of your plain flour. We recommend in the Milner house that you use proper kitchen scales. We find that cups, even though they're fantastic for just grabbing an ingredient quickly, they just don't show true results of the exact ingredients. And quite often when you're talking about bread machine and making bread, it's all about the active science of the perfect mixture of ingredients. As you can see, we're just measuring out the flour perfectly. 
and your 500 grams of flour. To this, we add a couple of pinches of salt, cooking salt, and we add the sugar, which is one and a half tablespoons. Oh, and I should also point out that 500 grams of flour, if you're working on American measurements, is approximately 1.1 pounds. So now we will add the dry flour ingredients to the bread, to the water, sorry, and the milk and oil mixture. Bang it out. And you've only, all you've got left is your yeast, which it's 11 grams, but we try to get it around the 9 grams. Which, after a lot of testing, seems to be the perfect amount. But I'm sure Dominic would agree that it's really annoying that they sell it in 11 grams, and wouldn't it be wonderful if they sold it in the exact amount of grammage that you actually needed, considering the sold in sachets? Yes, yeah, that would be very helpful. Yes, it would. And the yeast you sprinkle over the top as it says in the instructions for the bread machine and there you have it so as you can see dominic's put the wet ingredients in first then the dry ingredients and then he's put the yeast on top and that's literally all you have to do with your ingredients to be able to transform it to whatever you are making in your bread machine So, Dominic's now going to get the bread machine going. So, we are going here with just the quick dough. And I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen, but it takes just 23 minutes to make a simple dough in our bread machine. And you'll hear it making a noise similar to that as it mixes it and creates the perfect bread dough for you. So in our air fryer oven right now we have our pizza rolls and then this is the next batch of the dough that we've made and as you can see it's a lovely looking dough, it's very easy to handle and it's just perfect for um, lots of different uses. Okay, so if your plan of action is to save your dough for later, the ideal way is to use cling film. Um, literally grab a big sheet of cling film, put it out on your kitchen worktop, and then the next thing you need to do is flour your hands, because even though our dough isn't overly sticky, that once you're touching it, it can be a bit difficult. And then once you've floured your hands, you want to sprinkle flour across the cling film because this will help as you seal it up without it actually sticking too much and plus it makes it ideal for when you're using it later so grab your dough place it on your cling film and then start wrapping it up so that it's like a tight ball of cling film Then make sure it's nicely sealed up. Do note, like we've shown you, um, or like we're going to show you in a moment, you know, it can expand um, if it's left for too long, or you can freeze it right at this moment now, and it will not um, expand anymore. So this is it. I've just got it out of the fridge, and as you can see, this is how the dough looks. If you think that it's been wrapped in cling film and it's kind of expanded out the cling film and you know that shows that the proving carries on happening even though the first lot of proving is actually happening in the bread machine you know we've also noticed that when they're making dinner rolls that we'll put the first ones in and they'll look normally um, sized and then we'll put the second lot in that have been sat around waiting and they'll be one and a half times to double the size because the proving just continues but that's great because you can stretch it to make even more bread products from it can you 
So please comment below with which bread maker and air fryer you have at home in your kitchen. Uh, here in the Milners, uh, we have just a cheap bread maker that we got from Amazon Germany that we had shipped to us. And we also use the Philips Air Fryer XL, uh, which we've had for a few years now. And if you are into air fryers and bread makers, do head over to recipethis.com as we have a lot of recipes for you to choose from there. And all the recipes that we're mentioning in these videos, you can find over there too. Thanks for watching. We have a huge collection of kitchen gadget recipes, including air fryer, instant pots, slow cooker, soup maker, and many others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. Best of all, join our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter. There we have plenty of principles, cooking time cheat sheets, free ebooks, and mini courses to help you along your way in your kitchen gadgets journey.